Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can select a target in a 3D world using the mouse. As always, if you prefer written instructions, you can find a link to the text version in the description. If you find this tutorial useful, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Right, we're going to start with the scene we created in our Colliding with Obstacles tutorial. We've got a ball and a stack of boxes that all have a rigid body component attached so that they react to forces and collisions. We're going to add the ability to select a target with the mouse and then fire the ball at the selected target when the left mouse button is clicked. The first thing we're going to do is make the cardboard box change colour when the mouse cursor is over it, so the player knows which box they are targeting. To do this, we'll go to the project panel and navigate to Assets, Crow Art PBR Cardboard Box, Prefabs, and we'll select the cardboard box prefab. We'll add a script to the prefab by clicking the Add Component button and searching for the script component. We'll call this script Target. Adding the script to the prefab of the cardboard box, we'll apply it to all of the boxes in our scene. We'll double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. We want to change the albedo colour of the material when the mouse is over the box, in the same way as we did in our Changing the Colour of a Material tutorial. To get access to the material, we need to get the renderer component, so we'll create a private field for this. Then we'll get the renderer component in the start method and assign it to the field. We'll then make use of the onMouseEnter method, which will be called when the mouse is over the box. In here, we'll access the material of the renderer and set the colour to red. We'll then create the onMouseExit method, which will be called when the mouse moves off the box. In here, we'll set the material back to its original appearance by accessing the material of the renderer and setting the colour to white. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. Let's press play to try this out. Now, when we move the mouse over one of the boxes, it turns red, and when we move the mouse away, it returns to its original colour. The next thing we want to do is fire the ball at the target. To do this, we'll select the ball in the hierarchy and add a new script component. We'll call this script Target Selector. We'll double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. We want to fire the ball at the target when the left mouse button is clicked, so the first thing we'll do is check for this in the update method. If the mouse button has been clicked, the next thing we need to do is find out where exactly the mouse is pointing, so we can fire the ball in this direction. To do this, we'll need to access our main camera, so we'll add a public field for this. We'll then use the screen point to ray method to create a ray that goes from the camera through the position in the world that the mouse is pointing. You can think of a ray as a line that is emitted from a source in a particular direction. In this case, the source is the camera and the direction is determined by the position of the mouse cursor. We can now use the physics raycast method to see if the ray passes through anything. If the ray has hit something, we need to check that it is one of our targets. To do this, we'll check to see if the game object the ray has collided with has a target script component. If it does, we can then calculate the distance between the collision point and our current position. We'll then normalise this to get the direction we want the ball to travel. The final step is to apply a force in this direction. To apply the force, we need access to the rigid body component of the ball. We'll add a private field to hold this. Then we'll get the rigid body component in the start method and assign it to this field. We'll also add a public field for the desired force size. 
Now we can apply the force to the rigid body in the desired direction. We'll specify the force mode as impulse so that the force is applied instantly. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll select the ball in the hierarchy. Then we'll drag our camera from the hierarchy into the camera field of our script in the inspector. We'll set the force size to 10 and then press play. Now we can select a target and click the left mouse button to fire the ball in that direction. Also, if you've watched our tutorial on slow motion, we can add this in. Now we can have the ball knock down the boxes in slow motion. OK, that covers everything for this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks, guys.